So this is the last interrupt you uh, sports flash. I'm going to be really quick about these uh, recaps here. I'm not going to get into heavy detail on uh, what happened for football until tomorrow, until the week one is completed. So you'll have my football coverage tomorrow on episode, I believe it will be tomorrow, will be episode 77, 78, I believe. I think episode 78 will be the official number here. We're about two months away from our one from the one-year anniversary of the show. We're about two months and about, I would say, eight, nine days away from that anniversary, I believe. So, Because it was right before Thanksgiving last year that we had our very first episode on here. Mike is not here uh, on this show. It will, it will more, most likely be me for a little bit. Um, Mike's schedule just is just terrible. So it's just unfortunate that he can't come around to do the show. Uh, it, we may have to change the schedule, honestly, to really benefit his schedule. And I've been thinking about that now for a while anyway, about possibly changing the schedule now going forward. I'm a little distracted because I'm itching myself. I got a bug bite last night when I was sleeping. Uh, anyway, but football was great yesterday. A lot of great games yesterday. I will cover most of that tomorrow on the episode tomorrow. Uh, I just want to get the baseball stuff out of the way because the entire episode tomorrow will be based on week one of the NFL. That's going to be the new thing from now on. Um, you know, whether it's college football or NFL, that is what the NFL will, will cover. Unless the World Series happens, and a baseball playoff happens, I will get a quick recap on that stuff as well. Uh, but for the time being, uh, this will be probably the new format now going forward. I will cover the baseball games after the NFL games have happened. Um, I have a lot of reaction about this stuff. I have a lot of really good takes I want to get into with that tomorrow. But for today... I'm just going to cover some baseball stuff that happened yesterday. Um, not going to get into long detail about yesterday. I'll start with the Red Sox yesterday. They won one nothing. They won 2 i 3 against the Orioles. This is the first serious win they've had against the Baltimore Orioles. That's the only key thing that you really need to know about this thing. Uh, Xander Bogus drove in the only run yesterday in this game. Uh, Rich Hill was excellent in this game. Eight, uh, well, not really excellent. Excellent for what he could last for at his age. Um, lasted five innings, two hits. Uh, zero earned ones, three walks, seven strikeouts. I think what, if they didn't have any walks involved in that game, he would have gone at least six or seven innings yesterday. Uh, Whitlock was back yesterday. He allowed a walk and two strikeouts in his uh, bullpen outing. Matt Barnes is back, so he got his save back. By the way, he got his, uh, I believe, his fifth save of the season. Mm -hmm. So for a guy that was supposedly the closer, and they and they went from – what happened was they went from Matt Barnes to Tanner Houck. Houck who's done for the year because he got injured. Uh, needed some surgery. I don't remember what the injury was on. I mean, honestly, I didn't really, <laughs> I really didn't want to talk about it on my podcast really because it was just too far gone late in the uh, week here to talk about it. Plus, I wanted to talk about more about football yesterday. Um, I probably could have done a recap last night, but I was so tired from all the games I watched yesterday that I just couldn't recap every single one. So that's that. Um, other than that, Red Sox played well yesterday. The Orioles, I thought, played. Um, Played pretty crappy for a team that really – who just dominated the Red Sox all year long, especially even at Fenway. Um, and they didn't play that great. Uh, they allowed a, they allowed too much. Uh, Bradish was in there for, uh, for the inning. Uh, he went seven innings, two hits, one earned run, two walks, three strikeouts. I'm surprised that he lasted as long as he did. Uh, he allowed the one run in the first, which was the only run they really allowed in the game. Uh, but the fact that they won yesterday, they're 69 and 72 right now. I don't know how long this Orioles sham is going to last because I can't, I, I find it hard to believe that the Red Sox are going to be in this position now where they're just going to probably be most likely be, you know, in fifth place because of Baltimore of all teams. Like, I just can't imagine that happening. In fact, right now, the schedule kind of benefits, you know, the Nationals. Uh, um, um, not the Nationals, sorry, the Orioles really, because they are playing the Nationals. But you know what the Red Sox are playing after this week, and they are playing a really interesting game of the Yankees this week. They have a three game, they have a two game series against the Yankees, and a whopping three games against the Kansas City Royals at home. By the way, these are all at home. Just FYI, these are all at home. Um, the Red Sox, I think, could win. That series, I think. I don't think the Yankees overall right now have been a dominant team as, as they should be. And if the Red Sox can take two out of three against the Orioles, I mean, they're back at home with this. I mean, they could probably get a two-game sweep here. This is a simple two games they have to win. 
Um, they can sweep the Kansas City Royals. They can, they can sweep the Reds. That would get them at least back to their above 500. So they would probably at that point, what? Um, they'd be 74 and 70. They'd be 76 and 72. Then they, when they face the Yankees, they'd be in a four game series. Though even up there, maybe. I doubt it. But, you know, you have the Orioles later on in the year. You could beat the Orioles. I'm just trying to get to a winning season. I don't want to see the Red Sox end a losing season here. And then it turns out they lied and they'd say, you know what, we're not going to bring that core. We're going to fire him. I mean, I kind of hope that it doesn't happen that way at this point. I kind of wish they, did, they wouldn't bring back Cora because, no offense, he's not as great as he says he is. He's kind of an overrated manager at this point. Um, their season they had in 2018 was spectacular. It was wrapped around the players, and it happened to be the manager that happened to manage the team. But he's an A.J. Hinch number two. That's all he is. If we're going to really be honest with ourselves right now, he's Francona-esque number two-ish, number four-ish. If I be perfectly honest, he's nowhere near any of the managers right now that are managing baseball right now that are, that are good. I just don't think he is. And Shine Bloom is is definitely not a great GM. So that's just my take on the Red Sox going forward. Giants beat the Cubs last night, four, uh, four to two last night. It went. Uh, it was a weird ending last night to that game because they were trying to review a ground out. They were trying to see whether or not that he was safe or not at first, and they already called it the play stand, but I don't know what they were standing around for last night. So I don't know what I missed there with that game. Anyway, Flores had an 18, 18th homer of the year for the Giants. That really gave the Giants a go ahead here in the eighth inning. It was four to one at that point. Estrada had a homer, had an RBI in the right field. Estrada really did most of the work here with two RBIs along with Flores. So um, Longoria was there. He went two for four last night. The Giants overall are just not that good this year. They're not. Their season last year was all fluke. It was. It was not really a uh, a type of season where you where you want to remember it. You know, they swept the Phillies uh, last weekend. In this case here, I believe. Um, go back up here for just a second here. I don't know why it's not showing the Cubs series, but they they beat the Cubs two out of three. So they kind of f- fell off the wagon a little bit this season. They're. I think injuries were kind of the reason why behind it. So there you go. Uh, Philadelphia, yes, they beat the Nationals 7-5. to five. The Phillies are now 78-62. and 62. You could argue right now with the schedule that benefits them, and it does, because now they have to face the Marlins on the road, which is, a, this is an easy sweep for them. So that's an 81-win week for them. They're at 81-62. They're at Atlanta. Atlanta right now is an unknown because – we don't know how good it is in comparison to Philadelphia is right now. Are they much better than Philadelphia? I don't think it's really – I think it's kind of close despite the records. Then you have a Toronto series at home. I mean, you have – and you're back at home against Atlanta again at home in a four-game series. You take at least three out of four in that series at home. If this was in Atlanta, I'd say it's a totally different story. Here in this case here, you have a three-game series against Atlanta next weekend. This week you have Miami. If you take two out of three against Atlanta, you're in, back in that conversation. I think right now you're about as equal to Atlanta and the Mets right now as anyone else wants to believe that you are. You're that you're just as talented as, as they are. Pitching wise, maybe a little different story, but you know, the rest of the way, I mean, you're kind of set. The only series I'm worried about now with them going forward is the Houston Astros series because you got three games in Houston with them towards the end of the year. Now, that could be make or break for those because anything could happen in baseball. Right now, they could just choke and miss the playoffs again, and that would be unfortunate. But if they can go in there and make a statement in Houston and take the series two out of three, at least, that's a statement. That's it. You took down the defending ALCS champs in their place in October. In a regular season game that, you know, it may not mean as much to them, but it may be a driving point to where – Philadelphia might take this deep run in October. They might be the highest team in, in October going forward. They may as well be. Cardinals beat the Pirates. Uh, the Cardinals, I believe, took the series in a sweep. And no, they denied it was two out of three. So it was. Uh, so I was wrong there. Uh, but, yeah, the Cardinals are good. They're a hot team right now in the NL Central. They're going to win the Central, I think. Uh, it's really a runaway at this point. 
And really, depending on who they face, whether they face the Mets at first or they face the Braves, I kind of think, think if they face the Mets, they're in trouble. If they face the Braves, defending World Series champions, it might be a tougher series for Atlanta than really what it is for St. Louis. Our Pujols yesterday, by the way, passed Alex Rodriguez for the homer yesterday. He was tied at 696 until he went 697. He hit a home run right to uh, le- uh, center field, 403 feet. They were down 2 nothing. The, uh, the Cardinals were, until Dickerson answered a, a double a deep right field, which allowed Emmett to score a two-run shot. Then O'Neill put the game away, went on a homer to center field, a solo shot there. Then Allen had a homer to right field, which would have given Pittsburgh a comeback when they had more offense coming out of that homer. But the energy was dead in Pittsburgh, and nobody cares. The Pittsburgh Pirates stink. That's all I got to say. They stink. The Yankees played at Tampa Bay Rays. The Yankees in this series, I believe, um, they 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 lost two out of three at Tampa Bay last weekend here. In this case here, they won two out of three at home against the Rays. Um they have a they have a series against the Brewers starting on the 16th, I believe. Um, anyway, they have a series against them. Uh, they have a series this week against the Red Sox at Fenway, and then on the 22nd to the 25th, they have a four game set in New York. But they have a series next week against the Milwaukee Brewers. They might beat the Brewers two out of three. I can't say sweep. Although the Brewers can be known to choke in September. So who knows? Really, it's a series of who chokes first. In this case here, it might be the Brewers. New York Mets uh, continue to lead their division at 89-52. They are not going to lose that division. It seems like now at this point. It seems like they're in control. Walker went seven innings, five hits, one earned run, 10 strikeouts yesterday. Was phenomenal yesterday against the Marlins yesterday. And I believe they swept, I, I, if I'm not mistaken here, I believe they swept the Marlins. Which they didn't. They lost. They, they won two out of three. I keep thinking they. They, I forgot they lost Friday. Friday seems like a, like a lost cause for me. I, I can't. I can't remember what happens. I can't remember what happened three days ago. Never mind yesterday. Uh, Astros beat the Angels yesterday twelve to four. The Astros basically took two out of three in the series. Uh, five homers yesterday in this game. It started with Dubon, Alex Berkman, Machadi. Uh, Alvarez and Tucker, who had the homers yesterday for the Houston Astros as of yesterday. They got the 12 to 4 win. I don't know how they didn't clinch a playoff berth yet in this. I don't know how they didn't. The Dodgers were the first ones to clinch it yesterday. Uh, were the first one to clinch it, I think, it was either Saturday or Sunday. Um, Royals win 4 0. Not much to say there. Two last place teams that suck. Uh, Rangers upset the Blue Jays 4 to 1. The Rangers in this series uh, looked good, didn't look overall great here. Uh, unfortunately, they, they avoided a sweep, so if they were were to lose this game. They'd be right now looking at an eighty loss record. They'd be six. They'd be fifty nine and eighty out of this weekend. So they're actually at sixty wins, which is good. Good for them, I guess. Not great in baseball terms. Out of one hundred eighty two games right now, and there's like ten of them left, fifteen of them left, I believe. Maybe more. I'm probably off by the numbers here, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, Diamondbacks beat the Rockies 12 to six. Uh, Athletics beat the White Sox 10 to three. They avoided a sweep, which means the White Sox are in trouble. Which means the A's yesterday exposed the White Sox yesterday, and I guess their playoff chances are done. I mean, look, they had us with the Oakland Athletics here. They needed that sweep. They needed momentum to go there in their side. They didn't get it. It's that simple. Their series is done. Uh, Mariners beat the Atlanta Braves yesterday eight to seven. Uh, the Mayors going into yesterday's game uh, lost a Friday game, one Saturday and one Sunday to avoid losing that series at home, two out of three. The Mayors came in in the ninth and just simply was terrific. Rodriguez was the answer in this game. He was the man in the game yesterday, went three for four yesterday. He is the hot guy right now to look at right now, the hottest rookie right now in baseball right now. Phenomenal kid. Got 25 home runs, 71 RBIs. The game might get he might get 30 this year. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's rookie of the year this year. That's my opinion. He could be rookie of the year this year. Because he's phenomenal, this kid. 
This kid can take the Bears places, believe me. The Bears are – this is not going to be a, a, a fluke year, a one-time thing. Like, this team will be back in the postseason next year. They'll be in the postseason this year. They're the hottest team right now in baseball as far as I'm concerned. Right now, they're the hottest team in baseball. They're 79-61. I believe right now they're in – first right now in the wild card, if I'm not mistaken here. They're in a good spot right now. They really are in a good spot right now. Uh, Dodgers, yes, they beat the Padres 11-2. They took two out of three in this series, I believe. Uh, first team to clinch a playoff spot, which they did clinch it yesterday. So that's that's something. Uh, unfortunately, though, <laughs> however, they play the Mariners this week in a two-game series in Seattle. So they're not winning that series. I think they get swept in that series in two games. They go to Arizona for four games. They win that series. Then they're home against the uh, then they're home against the the Cardinals that week. They take two out of three, maybe. They sweep the Rockies. They have the Dodgers one more time at home in the final game of the season. Uh, I believe they play the, they, they play the White Sox later on that season as well for only two games. And then they play the or three games, and they have the Giants at home afterward, which they can sweep the Giants. But in this case here, Justin Turner put this game away. I mean, basically had a home run. In the fifth, Taylor had a home run right after that. Muncy had a home run in the, in the uh, had a single to, to, to score two runs in the sixth. Trey Turner had a, uh, had an RBI single in the seventh. Muncy with a walk, which allowed Betts to score. Turner again had a homer, and Trey Turner had a homer again. So you basically had uh, two players, Justin Turner and this game had a homer twice. One was a three, one was a grand slam, by the way, in the seventh. And this game was already over by the seventh inning at that point. Once that grand slam happened, that was it. It killed the whole momentum the Padres had because they had to rally for a comeback. It could have happened one way or the other. It could have happened, but it didn't. I don't believe anything else happened this weekend. There was no golf this weekend. Uh, we have the Fortnite Net uh, Championship on from the 15th to the 18th. Uh, Homa is the defending champion from last year. It was within the PGA Tour. As far as, as far as the WNBA goes, as of yesterday, the Aces won yesterday game one, 67-64. Uh, uh, Alicia Wilson yesterday had 24 points, 6 for 11 shooting. Alyssa Thomas had 19 points for Connecticut. Unfortunately, Connecticut came up short. And Las Vegas is up now 1-0 in their series. So that's that. Uh, that is my coverage for what happened yesterday outside of the NFL, outside of football. Uh, one thing to note, uh, I think – I don't know if I made it. I don't know if I said this yesterday, but if I'm repeating it, I'm repeating it here. Uh, Scott Frost, Nebraska head coach, was fired. This is right before the game. Even this is right before the games even started yesterday. Uh, the team went one and two. They lost to Jordan Southern yesterday, or uh, not yesterday, Saturday. So he has been fired. Kind of early. Kind of they kind of pull the trigger too soon here with this. I think Scott Frost. They could have waited to the end of the year with this and fired him. But you're gonna have an interim head coach now for a little bit. So. If you're Nebraska, that's great. I don't know why they're still in the Big 12. If you want my honest opinion – or not the Big 12, sorry, the Big 10. If you want my honest opinion, they should have never left the Big 12. Um, I think it was kind of dumb, but they did. I don't know what benefit they got from this besides being the crappiest team on the thing. They're worse than Rutgers. If you're worse than Rutgers, that's a bad sign. That's all I got to say. But, yeah, Scott Frost was fired as of yesterday. This happened right before the games even started yesterday. I think it may have happened right when I was doing my podcast yesterday. Uh, but today here – that's so why I give you the intel here because the entire episode will be based on the NFL tomorrow. So every game I'll cover tomorrow pretty much. I don't know how long I'll be tomorrow with this. So I only did this now so I'm going to have to do a two- to three-hour show tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm doing as of now. Uh, there's no other news. I already covered the MMA stuff, covered UFC, what happened with that. I covered uh, not much happened with, not much happened with the outside of football, really. Football was the best thing yesterday. The NFL had their best week one. In a while. This is a wild week one. Completely wild. A lot of comebacks. A lot of shocking upsets. Um, Trey Lance, is he a fraud? I'll answer that tomorrow. Um, other than that, I mean, there's not really much to say. Uh, it was a wild weekend. It was a frantic finishes in the NFL. Um, you know, a lot of questions right now, right now about the Patriots. A lot of questions right now about the Bucks. Where's Bray's head is at? You know, you'll find out tomorrow. I will leave you with that. So uh, you can follow me on my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snap, Snapchat, Bleacher Report, TikTok. You know the drill. Everybody, have a wonderful day. 
I'll see you tomorrow.